This is our solar system. Here. That one. Right there. As you can see, there's a whole lot of rocks beyond Neptune. You see those, evil eye? These are the Kuiper Belt and Scatter Disk Objects. And they are our topic this time on Learn Me a Topic. I'm sure you've all heard of the Kuiper Belt. If you haven't, then you shouldn't be taking astronomy. If you have, then you already know what's going to happen next. Hey, check out this awesome Kuiper Belt. I got it for sale at Walmart. I know I saw that coming. The Kuiper Belt is a region of the solar system extending from beyond Neptune's orbit of about 30 AU to approximately 60 AU from the Sun. That's 4 to 8 light hours from the Sun. Most of the Kuiper Belt is composed of small asteroid-like bodies, including mighty dwarf planets. While the asteroid belt is composed of rocks and metals, most of the Kuiper Belt objects, or KBOs, are composed of frozen volatiles such as water, ammonia, and methane. Now that you know the basics about the Kuiper Belt, it's time you learned about the exciting discovery and creation of the belt. Well, Gerard Kuiper thought of the possibility the belt in 1951 was actually discovered in 1992, and as far as origin, it's solar system to be back to you, Mitchell. Did you know that Kuiper Belt objects are actually quite different from the solar system's planets? It's true! First of all, the KBOs have much more eccentric orbits. They're really eccentric, like this guy. Kuiper Belt objects are also a lot smaller than our planets. We went to a professional for more information. As you can see by this picture, not even Pluto and its moon share on combined equal the size of the United States. And for a celestial body, that's just sad. There's also an excessive amount of these Kuiper Belt objects. Compared to our eight planets, it is believed that there are Over 70 Kuiper Belt objects. Although it is slight, Kuiper Belt objects are orbiting off of the ecliptic. Kuiper Belt objects are within a group of objects known as trans-Neptunian objects, things in our solar system which are beyond Neptune. Trans-Neptunian objects are categorized by their orbit types. There are Kuiper Belt objects, scattered disk objects, and the Oort cloud. Kuiper Belt objects are within the influence of Neptune's gravity, with relatively circular orbits that are somewhat close to the ecliptic. We will focus on these scattered disk objects right after this commercial message. This show is brought to you by... The Mobius Slide. It's fun believable. Welcome back to Learn Me a Topic. Let us begin. The scattered disk objects are, like the Kuiper Belt objects, within the influence of Neptune's gravity. Their orbits around the Sun, however, are much more eccentric, or elongated, and are farther off of the ecliptic than the Kuiper Belt object's orbits. So, does that sum everything up about the scattered disk? Yup! Other than that, they're essentially Kuiper Belt objects? Yes. Are you sure? Look, I'm running out of ways to say yes. Well, in that case, let's move on to our special guest. Our first guest is visiting us from a distance, via satellite. He is the farthest orbiting scattered disk object with an aphelion of Over one thousand. astronomical units. Please welcome two thousand zero zero six seven. So, sixty seven. How is it being so far away from the sun? Uh, hello. And that concludes our show this week. Tune in next week when we study spiders. Goodbye.